Like, I'm scared to walk anywhere now because there, there's just spiders hanging in the sky. What are you doing, babe? I'm trying to keep the sun off my neck. Hello, and welcome back to Drunk on Wonderlust. We're back again hiking the Corfu Trail. If you haven't caught the first part of the adventure, click here, go and give it a watch, it's great. And we're really excited because we're gonna be going along to the west coast of the island, and then we're gonna hike up to the mountains. It's gonna be an adventure and we're really excited. So let's get started. We picked up the trail where we left off in the last episode at Rikini and headed east towards the village of Valanio. This part of the route wasn't as well maintained as some of the other sections. It was quite overgrown and full of insects. So we're starting to see our first trail markers. Here they are, nice and yellow. They match my top and my nails. See what I did there, E and C. And yeah, we're gonna go right uphill towards the town of Valanio, where I need coffee because I nearly got killed by a load of wasps. Had I mentioned before that Danny has an insect phobia, it didn't bode too well when hiking in summer in Corfu. Well, we made it out of that dense undergrowth. Luckily, there were little yellow paint markers all the way up to show us we were on the right track because some of it was really, really overgrown and some of it was a little bit boggy with lots and lots of insects going on. But here we are on a nice fresh path now, about to get into the village and then, woo, <laughs> wasp. Let's just go. <laughs> we passed through the sleepy little Greek village of Valanio. I think most people must have still been in bed. It was almost deserted. We spotted another yellow trail marker and continued on. Once again, we do recommend using a GPS map of this trail as the markers can be hit and miss in certain sections. Upon leaving the village, we had a bit of a climb as the next village we would get to would be 400 meters up. Well, the climb is a little bit relentless and at the minute it's 30 degrees. So as you can see, I'm moist, <laughs> but the views are worth it. Look at this. We love how green the island of Corfu is. Such beautiful scenery and pretty olive groves. It was a wider path now and we could relax a little bit as the insects weren't so relentless. We had about one and a half miles to get to Sokraki. We were making the most of the shaded sections of the trail. We were trying to enjoy the last few weeks here in Corfu as we're flying back to the UK and in just over three weeks, we'll be back up in Scotland, hiking and wild camping the East Highland Way. Listen to this noise. Can anybody tell us what this is? As the path opened up a bit and we were making good time, I decided to get the drone up for a quick fly. Unfortunately, being the idiot that I am, I'd forgot to charge the batteries, so I could only capture a few short clips. Lesson learned for next time. I'm just going to take a very quick moment to apologise to my subscribers. I know that I haven't been able to get these videos up as regular as I would like. However, I've been working extremely hard out here in Corfu, singing for my supper, in order to save up to buy some new camping gear. So that's going to be exciting when I show you that when I get back in the UK. Uh, I am absolutely starving to death. It is half past one haven't had any lunch yet. I am wasting away. So we're going to speed things up. We've got a bit of a climb to get into the town where we're having our lunch stop. That's coming up very shortly. So let's speed up this next section.
So here we are at the start of a steep 200 meter climb. We're gonna go to the village of Sokraki where we're gonna stop for our lunch break. And as you can see, I'm very enthused about this climb. By now, it was almost 2 p.m. and the sun was really blaring down with all its might. We were definitely warm. I am a minger. I'm absolutely <laughs> ringing wet, sweaty, dirty. We were still on snake watch after seeing that huge one last week, but so far only lizards had made an appearance today. <sighs> Come on then. <laughs> Slow coach. <laughs> Cheeky madam. 90 meters left to go. Woo! We made it. Yes, we reached our lunch stop and all we could think about right now was an ice cold drink. So we located the first cafe for a well-deserved break. Okay, so I am over my hangry little madam strop now. On the climb up, I literally thought this was how it was gonna end. There was no possible way I could carry on, but it's fine. We got lunch at Emily's Cafe and it was amazing. We just got a cheese toasty and some homemade chips, but literally it was perfect. And we feel full of energy, ready to go again. We've got another little climb, but I'm ready for this one. I can handle it. And then we're going on to do about three and a half more miles to the end of this section. We haven't seen any snakes, but there are massive spiders up in the tree. This is like Aragog's hollow. Look at this. So there's webs literally going from tree to tree of these absolutely rotten spiders. I don't know who they think they are and why they think they can be that big, but they are giant. They go from a tree to another tree. The web is like right in the path. And over there, there's a massive spider web. It literally looks like Aragog's Hollow out of Harry Potter. And I'm not even exaggerating. Like, it's actually gross. <laughs> To avoid getting spiders in her hair, Danny proceeded to creep down the trail looking like she'd shit herself for the next two miles. For f sake, we nearly just walked into one, do you want to say? So Dirty spiders. <gasps> Don't like them. They're literally <laughs> everywhere. Like, I'm scared to walk anywhere now because there's just spiders hanging <laughs> in the sky. Like, they're just like in the sky everywhere we're going. I think I'm gonna like get one in my face. <laughs> so disrespectful. Please excuse my bad language, it was purely fear. Right, so after experiencing all those spider webs, we've now got to crawl through here. It's eyeing me up. There. I think its web is here. I'm just gonna go. Tell me if it moves. Okay. There she goes again. I was crying of laughter filming this, but after about 20 minutes, we made it out of the thickets and away from the spiders, unharmed, but slightly traumatized. We were finishing the section today in the village of Spartias, so only had around two miles left to go. Once again, there were some very pretty wooden sections to explore. Well, I'm just stopping for a cheeky break and we just bumped into two more people doing this trail. Now, they are the first people we've seen on this entire trail. And in a way, it's quite a relief because obviously we're going through Spider Central at the minute. Well, I'm looking on the ground for snakes. We're trying to look in the air for these bloody giant spiders. It's a bit of a nightmare, to be honest. 
another overgrown section to tackle before the path opened up and we finally made it out onto some open road. Well, we're out of spider territory, thank goodness, and we're getting our first glimpse of the mountainous region, which we're going to be doing on the next section, and we can't wait. It's a little bit cooler up here, the breeze, but that sun is still beating down. It's got to be 30s now, I'm sweating. We passed the first vineyards we'd seen so far in Corfu before catching our first glimpse of Spartilas. made it to Spartius. So it's the morning of day four on the trail and we're starting today where we left off last week in Spartius. Now we are climbing up to 750 meters today. We're getting up there in the mountains. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous. A slightly longer section coming up around 10 miles today. It's going to hit highs of 32 degrees. Hence, no makeup, we're going no natural, we're going to be sweaty messes, but we're really looking forward to these views, so let's get on with it. Now, the majority of today was going to be uphill, and the climb started straight out of the village of Spartilas. It's time to come off the road now, and we're going up this little path into the mountain. So we're walking through this lovely section of the trail. The path is very, very narrow and to each side is loads and loads of spider webs and they look like um, funnel web spider webs, which means that the uh, bites could be pretty nasty. So we're trying to avoid it as much as possible. Wish us luck. We continue to scramble up, trying to avoid the webs on the ground and the ones in the air. It was like the bloody crystal maze. Luckily, the views were epic. Now, Danny was struggling with the sheer amount of spiders and wasps everywhere, but we carried on climbing. I feel like I'm in Jurassic Park. Weird dino noises. A little bit further on, we reached the ruins of the Archangel Chapel and we decided to investigate and have a little snack stop, of course. Snack! We've done about two miles. It feels like 32 miles. And um, there's a reason we've not been filming that much because the trail has been quite difficult. Not in terms of stamina, but there's just so many bugs, like wasps, giant spiders hanging from the trees. And last time it was kind of funny, but this time, like, I legit had a panic attack and threw up. Like, not even me being dramatic, like, actual threw up. And I've just been screaming and it's just a bit a bit much really so we're just trying to get out and get to a bit of change of scenery so we can film some more we're 720 meters up and i've got a wand wingardium leviosa what are you using it for to bat spiders away I know, I saw it. <laughs> so after Danny's vomiting episode at the spiders, we eventually reached some open ground. Wow, what a morning we've had. We've had giant spiders, we've had wasps, we've had big may bugs like this, crickets the size of this. It's been a bit of a ooh, scare fest because neither of us are the biggest fans of insects. 
but we've come to a nice plateau bit here and uh, just getting a little bit of breeze. It's 32 degrees today. And as you can see up there is the summit of the highest mountain in Corfu, 917 meters. We're about to summit, wish us luck, and hopefully we'll get into a bit of shade on the way down. Woo. Okay, it's my turn to be the grown up now. As you can probably hear the bells, there's a lot of cows and goats. We've just tried to go over a cliff to avoid them, but there's physically no way. So off we go. Dizzy's having a bit of a meltdown, bless her, but we got this. Yes, come on, free go, After some freaky cow experiences previously in the UK, I still had a little bit of anxiety around livestock. Thankfully, we only had to pass through the goats as the cows had trailed off. We started up the path to summit the mountain. Now the route on our GPS actually veered around the mountain, but we couldn't resist, so decided to go off route and up and over, especially as there was a cafe and a monastery at the summit. We made it 917 metres up, the tallest mountain in the Corfu. Look at the mountains. So we're coming down from the monastery and I just fully stacked it. I fell over on all these wobbly rocks like this, but luckily my crisps saved my life and broke my fall. So yeah, just be careful if you're coming down this way because that could have been painful. The state of my hair. I don't know what's going on. It's taken us like 10, look at this bit. <laughs> Kiri. <laughs> taken us like 10 years to get off this sudden mountain oh it's not getting nightmare. any closer it's the path isn't getting any closer down there but just, we're hot we're tired my hair is doing all sorts of crazy fabulous things let's just push on quick warning the path down the other side which is not actually the Corfu trail was steep long and very slippery on the loose rubble but definitely worth it to see the views I can't even hold the yeah, camera still because I'm laughing too much. What are you doing, babe? I'm trying to keep the sun off my neck. <laughs> what is going on? Why are we so cool? <laughs> it is 90,000 million degrees. We feel like we're on some kind of pilgrimage to find ice cold Fanta. I don't think I've ever been this warm in my life. This road is never ending and there is zero shade. Woo! By now it had reached 34 degrees and the last few miles were really taking their toll. Make sure you pack plenty of water as there's only one shop right on the mountain summit. Now, I know I look like I've been pulled through a hedge backwards, technically have. It's been a very long and traumatic and eventful day, but we feel proud of ourselves. We did it. So we're going to be absolute bus wankers now and get two buses home, have a shower and go to bed. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you next week. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye.